be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. 20 years after 9-11, the United States faces a changed threat from foreign terrorist organizations. The threat today is less acute to the homeland, but it continues to become more ideologically diffuse and geographically diverse. Even as the United States has ended its longest war in Afghanistan and takes on a broader array of national security priorities, NCTC remains committed to our mission to deter and disrupt terrorist efforts to harm the United States, both at home and abroad. When it comes to sort of homeland-based terrorist threats, we have two buckets really that we primarily uh, focus on as the highest priority right now. What we call homegrown violent extremists, which is a reference to people here radicalized by foreign terrorist uh, organizations and ideologies. And then domestic violent extremists who are radicalized more by everything from racial animus all the way over to anti-government, anti-authority. Right. We are concerned that with developments in Afghanistan, among other things, that there will be more inspiration to the first bucket as well. So I think we anticipate, unfortunately, growth in both categories as we look ahead over the next couple of years. I, I think it is fair to, to assess that um, it is that the development of those groups' external operations capability, you know, we've got to monitor and assess whether that's going to happen faster than we had predicted otherwise. Afghanistan is a very I'll, I'll, dynamic environment right now, 